No one is talking about the Lahaina fire anymore. So let me tell you what's going on as told by locals. Since the fire, locals are saying that the city is not approving building permits, so they cannot rebuild their homes. The U.S. government won't allow insurance adjusters to take pictures or visit homes, so insurance payouts are still being processed. Residents are being sued for trying to build mobile homes on their own property. The banks are still charging mortgage payments, and with people falling behind on their payments, the banks are going to repossess their land. Many Maui residents are being shuffled around from hotel to hotel. They can't unpack they can't get settled and they can't even start building a new life almost half a year later. Maui's mayor Josh Green and the city council are trying to force Airbnb owners to convert their properties into long-term rentals for displaced residents. Isn't that interesting? Moving away from private ownership and leaving rentals as the only option. So much about the Lahaina fire situation gives 15-minute city vibes. It screams land grabs and Marxism. It has long been said that the Hawaiian Islands act as control groups and the Hawaiians as unwitting test subjects for the U.S. government. As for the the cause of the fire, we still don't have a cause. The official story was that the hurricane winds down at the power lines, but the CEO of the local utility, Hawaiian Electric, says their power lines, knocked down by the high winds, appeared to have caused a fire that same morning of August 8th. But she says she was told by the Maui County Fire Department that it was put out and that their company is not responsible for the fire that later swept Lahaina. So the fire department put it out, reported it to Hawaiian Electric, and then later we have a fire that destroys the entire town. So where did that fire come from?